Hi everyone, today we are going to see the difference between regression testing and retesting. Most often people used to get confused between these two concepts and basically if you attend any software testing interview, they will ask you this difference for sure. So let's look into these in detail in our further presentation. So let us look into regression testing. So if there is any modification or enhancement in the application, we need to make sure that existing functionality is working fine. This is called regression testing. Basically, regression testing is required when there is any change in the requirement and eventually the code changes. So, according to the requirement, so that time we need regression testing and also if there is any new feature added in the software or any defect fix um, for both performance also, then you need to uh, perform this regression testing. Let's see a simple example of regression testing. So if you have an application that maintains the details of all students in school, for example, if you have buttons like add, save, delete and refresh in that application and the cl client request for a new functionality called modify. So this time the tester has to test um, all the previous functionality as well in order to make sure that modify button code will not affect the other functionalities. This is one such example. So now let us look into retesting. So what is meant by retesting? Once the tester detects the bug and if it is fixed by the developer, the software has to be retested to confirm that the original defect has been successfully removed. Now this is called retesting or confirmation testing. So retesting is done mainly by replicating the same scenario in the same environment with the same data, but in the new build in which the developer has fixed. Sometimes the bug raised by the tester will be rejected by the developer. In that case also, the software has to be retested to make sure that the bug is genuine or not. So now let us look into an example of retesting. You take the same example as we have seen before, an application that maintains the student's details, which has add, save, delete and refresh. For example, if you have some um, a uh, problem with save button that is the save functionality is not working fine then what happens is the tester will um, raise the defect based on that so in the new build the developer will fix that issue and the tester has to verify whether that save button functionality is working fine or not see unlike regression testing we are not testing all other functionality only save button functionality we are testing here so that's the difference between uh, regression testing and retesting. Now let us look into the major difference between regression testing and retesting. So the first point here is uh, if there is any change or modification in the existing um, software, we need to check whether basic functionality is not broken. That's why we are doing regression testing. But in the retesting, we are confirming whether the failed test cases is fixed in the build which is being uh, given by the developer. In the second point when you see we are mainly checking if there is any new bug introduced because of the new functionality or the new changes in the application but in retesting we are checking whether the old bug that has been reported is fixed or not. Here in re regression we are not verifying the bug but in retesting we are verifying the bug. And if you look into the next point, see the regression testing has the regression test suite. In regression test suite, the test cases are common and it has to be executed in the mm, uh, release after release. So in that case, the test cases can be automated by using any automation tool. But in retesting, the test cases cannot be automated. In regression testing, mainly the past test case also will be executed, but in retesting, only failed test will get re executed. See, in regression testing, using documentation, we can obtain the test cases, but in retesting, the test cases of retesting can be obtained only when the testing starts. See, here the priority of retesting over regression testing is higher. So it is carried out before regression testing. But in regression testing based on the availability of resources, it will be carried out parallel with 
retesting. So these are the major difference between regression and retesting. That's all for today. Thank you so much for listening. If you want to learn more concepts about software testing, please subscribe our channel, We People. Thank you.